just added the rear main or I'm sorry the transmission sealer I had a pretty quick leak it's dripping dripping pretty fast I might pull over and show you guys real quick so I just put in the blue devil transmission sealer the leak is pretty quick here there it was every time I put it in park it starts dripping 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 I've had to just keep topping it off I'm about to take it to the shop because I'm tired of it no, no. So it looks like I've identified the leak coming from the transmission cooler lines. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to see about if I can do that without dropping the transmission or just see if I can take it to a shop um, with fair pricing because I really don't want to mess with this truck too much more. Um, but the leak is coming out pretty fast from, it looks like both cooler lines, but more from the lower one so Tinker and Tom on YouTube not everything goes perfect sometimes uh, or a lot of times things come up that I don't plan for so I'm gonna show my troubles too not everything's perfect all right guys so far I fixed the leak these trucks are here Okay, my let's do it. Anyways, I think I fixed the leak here, guys. After you lift your motor, after you're doing uh, transmission mount, motor mount, stuff like that, uh, there's sometimes a tendency that the uh, cooler lines will come loose if you don't have thread locker or something on there. I had done a repair on my transmission, so I thought I had cracked some line or something. I was gonna go to the mechanic. And I decided not to and crawl under my truck and get some goggles on because the hot fluid burns your eyes. Um, what you're gonna need is a three-force, a three-force wrench and a five-eighths wrench. And you're just gonna find these fittings. It's really hot under here. See, when I was running yesterday, I was dripping all that liquid. You gotta find those fittings under there. Three fourths in the back, five eighths at the top. I'm still gonna have this little leak right here on the nut. I gotta fix that thread. I put plumber's tape. That's something separate. But after I lifted the motor, I guess I loosened those lines. So I just had to go back and tighten it. And no more leak. No more trip to the mechanic. So far, so good. I might go ahead and put some new transmission fluid in soon when I can. This covers 1997 through 2003 F-150s. Mine is a 2000 F-150 rear-wheel drive. And this is how I fix it with a 4R70W transmission. Let me tell you guys, this is stressful. I, uh, I thought I was just going to be in for uh, motor mounts, which I thought was going to be a little difficult. Maybe take all, well, all of one day, but turned into almost... Uh, four days, three days, just with all the com all the complications I had getting it out and having my uh, dipstick tube not fit back in properly after I uh, got it back together, and I had some bolts on the uh, transmission mounts themselves that weren't going back in properly. Two of them, I think, had rust or debris that got caught in the threads. So I had to fight through all that, and then. Um, I had a transmission leak yesterday after lifting the motor and I couldn't figure out why. I thought I had broke something. I 
bought stop leak and all this other stuff. Thought I'd blown out some seals over filling it. And finally I uh, decided to crawl into the truck and check. And I had uh, loosened my cooler lines on my transmission, I guess, when I lifted it. They might have already been a little loose. So I tightened those down and the leak is gone. What else did I have to go through? Oh, my battery. Uh, after working on the truck for the three, four days, I guess opening the door and uh, it was already weak, I think. My battery had a lot of corrosion on top and it was like a three-year-old battery. Um, it decided to go out on me and I couldn't start my truck after I'd repaired everything and it was even embarrassing in my apartment. So Nothing goes easy except for that last little bit with uh, tightening that down. It was, it was a rough road. Rough road getting us back on the back on the road. Got someone driving on the wrong side of the fucking street. Tinker and Tom, back on YouTube. If you have a transmission leak, check there first before you tow it to the shop. Peace.